pilots have always been fighting men. But to courage and daring, today you have to add the great technical skill and self-discipline demanded by their sophisticated weapons. But weapons no more effective than the men who fly them or those who keep them flying. Case in point. Combat aircraft are maintained with a dedication that results in flying hours at a rate three times normal usage. The line crews understand how much depends on them day after 25 hour day. Normally, the spare is a very decent fellow. But now, he's been through the hours of pre-flight details. He can't help but hope that one of the other aircraft will show up with a minor hydraulic leak or a cut tire. Sometimes that happens, but not today. supersonic blasts of power in the open ocean of the air, ready to play their part in the overall coordinated effort. There are other flights in the sky. The boys in the KC-135 tankers have been waiting to refuel the tactical fighter bombers en route to their targets. Those KC-135s will keep orbiting in case any of the boys run short of fuel on the way home. The overall coordination is the result of the total planning by the Department of Defense team effort, the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. Most people will ask pilots the same question over and over. Aren't you scared? The answer is always pretty much the same. Sure we're scared, until we button down the hatch. We're a one-man sort of operation. We're our own navigator, radio man, radar operator, and bombardier. Getting into the target, we have to take evasive action. Then it's pop up, dive in, drop the bombs, and get the heck out of there. You watch your fuel. You go over in your mind what the intelligence boys will want to know about the results. At the target, the ground defenses, all the details. You might be scared when you start, but after that, you just don't have the time. But operations continue around the clock. For the ground crews, it's 12 hours or more a day. Six days or more a week. It could be drudgery if every man on the ground didn't know and understand that they are the ones who make it possible for those who fly to complete their missions. It's about 13.30 hours now, half past one in the afternoon of a day like every other day. Another flight takes off on another mission. <laughs> 